Hello everyone, my name is Monish. I will talk about Parik Images of Register Automata. It is a joint work with Swavik Lasata and we are from University of Warsaw. So first I will recall the classical Parik theorem for finite alphabets. One of the formulations says context-free languages are Parik equivalent to regular languages, which means that for every context-free language, there is a regular language uh, which has the same Parik images. So a Parik image is defined for a word, which is a vector that counts the number of occurrences of each uh, letter in the word. This can be extended naturally to languages. For example, the context-free language A and B N is Parik equivalent to the regular language A B star. So our motivation was to extend the finite uh, this to uh, this Parik theorem for infinite alphabets. So the infinite alphabets we are considering are this the most simple one which is the countably infinite set with only equality relations. We call them as atoms or data or letters. And the alphabets are uh, a finite part paired with these atoms. Okay. The, we use the classical non-deterministic register automata to recognize this um, infinite alphabets. So for the sake of presentation, I will define only the non-deterministic register automata with one register. So it is a tuple with the finite set of states, initial states and final states, and some finite set of transition rules. And X, Y, Z are variables over atoms and X denotes the value of input register, Y denotes the input uh, alphabet and Z denotes the output register of a transition rule. And uh, phi denotes uh, the equalities between the input value and uh, input alphabet and output register. Okay, let's see an example. So consider this automaton. It has three states, um, yellow, green, and red. So the yellow state is the initial state and green state is the final state. Okay, so a run of an automaton uh, looks like this. So we start from the initial state and the initial state has uh, the value A in its register. So as long as the, so we read A and we go to green state and as long as the value stays A, we remain in, in the green state. If, if, if we read something from something different from A, we go to the red state and stay as long as there um, until we see a, a value equal to the register. So this automaton recognizes all the words which has the same input, same first letter and the last letter. So now we define a data vector. A data vector is a finite multi-set over uh, atoms. For example, uh, this data vector uh, says that A1 occurs two times, A3 occurs two times, and A2 occurs once. And for each eight words recognized by register automata, we can associate a data vector, which is, uh, counts the number of occurrences of each data. And this is uh, we call as a Parik image of the word. For example, the word W, uh, the Parik image is the data vector shown above. So one of the uh, classical results for finite alphabets is uh, Greeney's theorem, which says that there are some, for uh, NFAs, uh, there is an equivalent uh, re regular or rational expressions. So the natural question is to ask, uh, is there such an expression for uh, non-deterministic register automata? So here by rational expression, I mean an orbit finite uh, 
uh, extension of regular expressions, which we replace uh, finite unions by orbit finite unions. <coughs> For example, the language uh, which first letter and last letter are same can be uh, recognized by the, uh, can be described with the following rational expression. So consider the language, consecutive two letters are different, uh, which is uh, like A1 is different from A2, A2 is different from A3 and so on. It is shown that this language is not rational, but this language is recognized by an one register automata. <clears throat> so, um, so there has been uh, a few work which has uh, which has been done on uh, regular expressions for register automata, and most of them are like either some extension of regular expressions or uh, regular expressions for subclasses of uh, register automata. So consider this following language, which is pairs of uh, pairs of two atoms and blocks of them. So if we if we exchange which if we swap a5 and a6 we get a word which is which is a consecutive to <clears throat> different consecutive two atoms are different uh, word and for in fact we can show that for any word in the language we can show that it can be rearranged to a word <clears throat> with the property that consecutive two letters are different so what we can see is this language is paric equivalent to the language consecutive two letters are different. So this raises the question whether <coughs> this property holds for all uh, non-deterministic register automata, which, which is whether non-deterministic register automata languages are paric equivalent to some rational language. Okay, next we define a uh, rational set of data vectors, which is uh, the smallest class of data vectors, which contains singleton and closed under addition, iteration, and orbit finite union. For example, the language first letter and last letter are same can be described. The paric image of this language can be described by <coughs> the following uh, rational set, which is we need only any atom has to occur twice. If, if we have such a data vector, we can always um, rearrange, uh, we put the first uh, occur, first atom in the first and second, uh, the second in the last, and we, in between we, we, we put all the remaining atoms. So in fact, any uh, data vector from this uh, set can be rearranged to a word uh, which belongs to M. So one of the uh, lemma which is shown before is uh, L has a rational paric image if and only if uh, it is paric equivalent to some rational language. So the, some of the previous results, uh, many of you might be familiar with the finite case, the uh, paric images are semi-linear, uh, but it's not the case here. Uh, so the, the natural extension of semi-linear sets to orbit finite union, uh, uh, orbit finite case are not uh, sufficient. So we need, uh, <clears throat> so, so there are like a, one, a one, non one deterministic register languages, uh, which, are, which are rational, but uh, not uh, semi-linear. So in, so we, it has been shown that uh, paric images of one uh, non-deterministic register automata are rational and paric images of, in fact, uh, a CFL with one register are also rational. So as a corollary, we get a paric theorem that uh, one context-free languages are paric equivalent to some non-deterministic register automata. So in this work, we uh, introduce a new uh, new automaton. We call it as hierarchical register automaton. <clears throat> it is a strict uh, syntactic subclass of register automata. So 
so in this presentation i will not be defining it but uh, i will be uh, giving an idea of how this is so so let's say it has uh, four registers and first of all the registers are ordered so there so we can talk about lower registers uh, higher registers so the main idea is if we were to change some register let's say uh, to uh, register i all uh, registers less than i would be preserved the values uh, are preserved in this transition and and the higher registers may not be preserved uh, this is the main idea and for example if we were to change a2 to a2 prime uh, what it does is for example the automaton changes its higher register to a3 so it may happen that the higher values are changed so in this case the third register is changed and the fourth register is preserved okay and another way to see this is we can see that we can think of it as the registers are arranged in, in a stack and if we were to change the value of a2 what we do is we pop the top uh, higher registers and we change the register which we want to change and we push some new register values which may change some of the registers or may not change so now we will see an example so this is a rational language which is uh, it is blocks of three different atoms okay so first we will start with the, uh, with some initial state and we store uh, so some two atoms and the registers are value uh, are ordered in such a way that a3 is stored in the bottom register and a2 is stored in the top in the higher register okay first we read something uh, different from a1 uh, for, different from the registers which is a1 and we go to state q2 and in state q2 uh, we can uh, read the value of the top uh, value of the higher register and go to state q3 and from q3 we can read <coughs> the value of the lower register and go to again q1 which is the initial state so now uh, we successfully read a, a, a one block so now what we can do is we can change uh, the lower register. So which, which may, for, for example, we change to A6. So now this might not preserve the value of higher register. So we get, uh, like, let's say A5. So now we can register, now we can repeat the same thing again. We, we read something different from the uh, uh, register and we go to Q2 and and Q3 and Q so on. So if we set Q1 as the final state, we, we will always get uh, the blocks of three letters different. Okay, now consider the following language, consecutive three atoms are different. So which is A2, A1 is different from A2 and different from A3 and uh, A2 different from A3 and A4 and so on. So we can show that this rec this language is recognized by two non-deterministic register automata, but we showed that this is not recognized by any uh, hierarchical register automata. Okay, the main result is uh, rational languages are paric equivalent to hierarchical register automata. So we show that every rational language is recognized by a, a hierarchical register automata and, <clears throat> and hierarchical register automata have rational paric images and the point p uses the fact that in order to show the point p we have to use the fact that one non-deterministic register automata uh, have rational paric images so it is built on the previous work so as a result, 
what we get is if a register automata has rational paric image, then it means that it is paric equivalent to some uh, hierarchical register automata. So this leaves an open question whether uh, all register automata are paric equivalent to some register automata, which is still open. So apart from the uh, main question, so, so we can ask some of the open questions whether uh, uh, rationality holds for k register automata or k context field languages. And we can also see what happens to other orbit finite alphabets, pairs, tuples, uh, uh, <clears throat> a set of size two and so on. So in the case of finite alphabet, we know that the star height collapsed to one, which is like semi-linear sets. Uh, so uh, and it's, it's an interesting question to ask whether there is a strict hierarchy uh, in terms of data vectors. And algorithms, and uh, so it is still not known that if we, if we were given two rational set of data vectors, we can decide equality, intersection, universality, and so on. Thank you for listening.